Hey guys, welcome to Skyline Motions and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this type of Instagram story animation in After Effects without using any third party plugins. So let's open After Effects and get started. Alright, so first of all, we have to take a new composition. So click on this new composition. Let's call it main comp and set this resolution 1080 by 1920 set this frame rate 30 and duration make it 10 second and hit ok ok now we have to take one more composition that is going to be our media placeholder where we can add our image so go to composition new composition and let's call it media 1 and set this 1080 by 1920 30 fps and 10 second long hit ok Okay, now we have to import our image file that we want to use in this composition. So right click over here, import file and import your image file. So I'm using these two images, which is downloaded from pixabay.com and link given in the description. So go to the link and download this image if you want and click on import. Now let's rename this image. So right click over here, rename and let's rename it to image one. And select this image, right click, rename and rename it to image two and hit enter now select this media one hit ctrl d to duplicate and double click on this media one and let's open it up and drag this image into this composition and let's fit this image so hit s on the keyboard to bring out this scale properties and let's scale it up and set this image and let's set the size maybe 190 percent and set it over here all right, so now double click on this media two and let's open it up also and drag this image two into this composition, hit S on the keyboard to bring out this scale properties and let's fit this image according to our composition size, something like that. Now go to your main composition and let's import media one into this composition. Okay, and hit S on the keyboard to bring out this scale properties and go to around six second and click on this stopwatch button to add a keyframe on a scale property and go to the beginning of this animation and set this value maybe around 130 percent so now we have a nice scale animation now let's create a background so hit ctrl y to take a new solid and let's call it bg and hit ok now go to effect generate and here is gradient ramp so click on this option and add a gradient ramp effect and click on this swap color and pick this start color something like that okay and pick this end color maybe like purple okay now drag this background below this media one comp Okay, now we have to create a shape layer that we will be using as a track mat. So click on this rectangle tool and select this rounded rectangle tool and set this field to solid color and set this stroke to none. Okay, and draw a rectangle, something like that. And right click on this shape layer and let's rename it to mat and hit enter. Now open this rectangle one and click on this rectangle path one and here is roundness. So set this roundness value maybe around 800 and hit enter and unlink this size and set the size value maybe around 2000 and hit enter. Okay, now let's close this and hit P on the keyboard to bring out this position properties and set this position over here and set this in center also you can also click on this line and click on this button okay and set this value maybe around 750 and hit enter all right so now let's animate this so go to around three second and click on this stopwatch button to add a keyframe on position properties and go to the beginning of this animation and select this move tool hold left mouse button shift and drag it over here okay so now we have a nice animation and go to around four second 
and click on this diamond button and add a keyframe over here also and then go to around six second hold left mouse button shift and drag it below so as you can see we have a very basic animation so let's make some more interesting animations so select all these keyframe hit f9 on the keyboard to easy ease this keyframe and go to your graph editor if your graph editor not looking like this then right click over here and click on this edit speed graph okay and select this point hold this handle and drag it and create a graph something like that hold this handle also and drag it now select this point and hold this handle and drag it over here and close this graph editor so now it's looking nice all right now go to your track mat option if you can't see this track mat then click on this toggle switches okay and select this media one and select alpha mat okay so now we have a animation something like that now let's create a border around this edge edge so select this mat hit ctrl d to duplicate and let's enable this layer and click on this field set this to none and set this stroke to solid color and set this stroke value 5 pixel and pick this color pure white hit ok so as you can see we have a nice border around this edges now click on this fit button ok now select these three layer and select a color for better visibility ok now let's create a duplicate so hit ctrl D and drag these three layer over here something like that and pick a different color okay select these matte layer and hit u on the keyboard to bring out this keyframe and go to around three second and set this value maybe around 600 and go to on four second and set this value 600 and hit enter and now let's play this all right now select these three layer and move this layer on 15 frame something like that and let's play this so now it's looking something like that and now let's apply some effect on this bottom layer so go to your effect and preset and search for tint so this is a tint effect let's apply this on media one okay so now we have a black and white image and let's apply another effect called curve and apply this curve over here and let's set the blue channel maybe like that okay now close this and now let's apply one more effect directional blur so this is our directional blur apply this on media one and set this blur length value maybe 10 percent okay so now it's looking something like that Okay, now set this resolution auto. Okay, now select this layer and right click over here and click on this pre compose and let's call it slide one. Move all attribute and hit OK. All right, now go to your project select this slide one hit ctrl d to duplicate and drag this slide two into this composition and double click on that and let's open it up and let's replace this media one with this media two okay so select this media one hold alt on the keyboard 
and drag this media to into this layer and select this one also hold alt on the keyboard and drag this media to into this layer okay and then go to your main composition and go to around six second and drag this layer over here and let's play this all right so it's looking nice okay now select this media one and drag it below this slide one and hit t on the keyboard to bring out this opacity and set this opacity maybe around 25 percent sorry maybe 10 percent and hit enter so it's looking something like that and let's add a scale animation so hit s on the keyboard to bring out this scale properties and go to around six second and click on this stopwatch button to add a keyframe on scale and go to beginning of this animation and set this value maybe around 130 percent and hit enter so now it's uh, looking something like that okay and now drag this media to below the slide one and set this opacity so hit t on the keyboard to bring out this opacity and set this opacity maybe around 10 percent okay and go to around five second and 15 frame and select this media to hold alt and open square bracket to cut this layer and select this media one hold alt on the keyboard and hit close square bracket to cut this layer over here okay and let's add a scale animation so hit s on the keyboard to bring out this scale properties and go to around 10 second and click on this stopwatch button to add a keyframe on scale and go to around 5 second and 15 frame and set this scale value maybe 120 percent and hit enter all right so now we have to add text so go to around for second and type a text over here so click on this text tool and type a text so i'm typing love and you can choose any type of font style but i'm using century gothic and set this to bold and set this size maybe 140 pixel and let's align this into center and hit p on the keyboard to bring out this position properties and set this text over here and now let's duplicate it so hit ctrl d to duplicate and let's type second text so hit ctrl a to select all this text and type select this and set this into center okay and let's hide this for a second and go to around two second and click on this stopwatch okay and go to very beginning of this animation and drag this text over here and select all these keyframe hit f9 to easy is this keyframe and go to your graph editor and select this point hold this handle and drag it okay so now we have a nice animation okay and drag this text below this slide one and close this and go to around five second and 15 frame and select this text and hold alt and hit close the square bracket to cut this layer over here and select this one hold alt and open a square bracket to cut this layer and drag this layer below this slide one okay and now let's enable this and go to around seven second and 50 frame over here and hit p on the keyboard to bring out this position properties for this forever text layer and click on this stopwatch button to add a keyframe and go to around five second and 50 frame and 
drag this text over here okay now select this keyframe hit f9 to easy is this keyframe and go to your graph editor select this point and drag this handle over here okay and close this graph editor okay now select this keyframe and move this over here okay what we have to do now let's add drop shadow effect so select this slide one and search for drop shadow and let's apply this on slide one and slide two and set this distance maybe 50 percent and set this softness maybe around 100 and hit enter and set this opacity 25 percent so now we have a nice drop shadow effect and set the same value for this slide 2 so set this distance value 50 and softness 100 and hit enter and set this opacity maybe 25 percent and hit enter and click on this fade button so now it's looking nice and finally click on this toggle switches and let's enable motion blur for this animation so click on this motion blur and let's enable motion blur for all this layer and double click on this slide one and let's enable motion blur for this also and go to your slide two click on this toggle switches and let's enable motion blur and then go to your main comp and let's have a look all right so it's looking awesome and that's all for this tutorial guys i hope you like it so i will see you in next tutorial till then bye bye